Right then, welcome back. We're just about to start declaring war on Tosia. Begin taking out their Korean territories. Still going to take a while, though. Need time to prepare. Okay, missionary's going to be that easy to deal with then. So, I also have a couple loans. I'm going to need to repay them. At some point. On the other hand, Adrist isn't that harsh, so I probably should work on developing things first. Right, let's get the clock ticking again. Alright, let's go ahead and use the Imperialism cast spelling. Occupy and then these two here. Right, I want to have that active. Where's this ship coming from? Hmm. Heavily restrict looting. I am grabbing territory. I'd rather not have the provinces be too, too damaged. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, time to use this old trick. Got enough mill points to... Ooh, silk. Even more so. Got enough mill points to afford a general. I'll have you move here, that way you can... Get a, uh, then again, I'm at war. It might not be a good idea to grab to spend manpower on projects while I'm at war. Grab the general. Uh, yeah, that is pretty bad. This fort should be done in the next phase. I say should. It's not 100% certain. Never is. Okay, yes, I can, babe. There have been times where the AI has definitely won. 7% siege chance. I probably should pay attention while they win, though. At least that certainly seems like a good idea. Make sure I don't accidentally uh, attack anyone in a, a very ugly position. Quality. I've got more cannon fire than you do. I just have my troops don't all melt away because of this. Ouch, okay. Yeah, they really did get good rolls on that. Eh, I think that's enough. <laughs> Besides, I'm not sure how this naval battle will go, so... Ah, eh, just leave that, I don't need that. Going to need a lot of Korean provinces. I probably should stick to taking territory in the Manchuria node. In order to avoid over overburdening myself with territory. I shouldn't stick to 
at the moment. I should stick to specific states. I need to make sure I have con connection to all their seas so I don't have any issues there. And I should avoid grabbing more land than I can core with my current amount of admin points. I should also avoid creating a, a any serious issues with coalitions. They're not going to let me have that capital. Yeah, I figured. Well, I definitely want this. Yeah, that should be enough to let me at least get a harbor set up, system set up. I could also get them to remove a bunch of cores, but I don't feel like it. Oh, well, maybe a couple. That's too much. Sure. How much more are you going to give? Maybe this province? No, just slightly other. And okay. There we go. Be steel. Take it. Yeah, that might take a while to get there, but it will be there eventually. Ah. I guess they can all be cored. Uh, I'll take the ones that have... No, okay. Never mind. Of course, I hate them. It gets me more settlers, and it barely costs me anything. It's only 40 ducats. It's always 40 ducats. That cost never changes. Which is odd in a game filled with variable costs that depend on your income. Oh, it's not one of the provinces I'm coring, so. Well, it could be bad, it could certainly be worse. Gladys as well. Good, I got all of them. I was afraid the lag would only get one of them. Seventeen seventy-seven, I might actually end up with a civil war because stuff won't core fast enough. On the other hand, if I get to 75 legitimacy, I probably should ask the no lesser nobles for help with that. But if I'm able to. Guess not. Uh... Sure, I'll take that much manpower for just a couple of tipple points and ten prestige. Oh wow, I'm well over time. Okay. So save the game and yeah. I'm going to annex um this subject later.
I'm gonna wait until Ashikage is almost done, because I think I'm gonna get hit by a minus three Diplo rep from my next session. I'm not sure if that applies on MT, I don't quite remember. Just in case, though, I'm gonna wait on it. Anyway, I will see you again tomorrow. Until then, bye.